Hey guys, it's Carrie from Lovely Etc. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make a pretty simple DIY closet organizer. I just finished making this closet organizer for our little tiny master closet and I'm so excited about how clean and simple it is and how much more organized our little tiny closet is going to be. The thing that is great about this closet organizer is you don't have to buy any special closet organizing systems. All you need is some inexpensive wood and a couple of basic tools and you can make your closet organizer fit your closet exactly and make it fit the things that you need to put in your closet exactly. So let me show you how to do it. Here's what our closet looked like before. There were basically clothes and shoes everywhere and I know that with this new DIY closet organizer it's going to look a lot better but more importantly it's going to be way easier to find the things that we need. Okay, as you can see, I have already done a total makeover on my sliding doors. So no more ugly sliding doors. Now they are beautiful and they open easily and I love it. I've also taken all of our stuff out of the closet. So now I'm ready to do some demo. I took out all the old shelves and closet bar and gave everything a fresh coat of white paint. So after thinking about what exactly we needed to store in our closet, and how to make the best use of the space. I went on Pinterest and just looked at a whole bunch of different closet configurations and different types of organizers and shelves and kind of came up with a loose plan of what I want to do in our closet. And now I'm going to use painter's tape to lay out the design to make sure it's really going to work and figure out the exact measurements I need to use. And here's my design. I'm going to have a shelf at the top, a hanging bar on each side, and then shelves going down the middle and room for shoes at the bottom. And this is what I'm gonna be using to make my closet organizer. These are 12 inch wide MDF boards, they're eight feet long. And I really like using MDF for making shelves because it's really straight, it's strong, it holds up well, it has a really smooth surface. And for a project like this, I'm gonna be painting, I don't need really nice wood grain, so I really don't wanna pay extra to get it. So I'm gonna be using these boards, I'm gonna cut them to size, and then at the end, I'm gonna add some real wood as a facing just to make it look extra nice and custom. But first, I gotta cut my MDF. Okay, so first I am putting together the middle shelf section of my closet organizer. I've cut the two vertical side boards and also the shelves that go in the middle here. And I have added pocket holes to the bottom of these shelves. Now I am going to attach these first to one side and then the other and then I will set my middle section in place. To build the middle section I set one of the tall sides down flat on the ground and then attached each of the shelves to it with pocket screws. Then I laid the second tall side flat on the ground, flipped the shelves over on top of it and attached them to that second side with pocket screws and then I could lift the whole thing into place into the middle of the closet where it's going to be. Then I started working on my shoe shelves. For the wall side of the bottom shelf, I attached a small board directly to the wall because the baseboards were in the way, but all of the other shelves, I simply cut supports from my MDF. Then I set the shelf board in place and used my nail gun to nail it onto the support so it would stay where it needs to be. On the other side of the closet, I made these shoe cubbies to keep smaller pairs of shoes and sandals better contained, and I made them basically the same way. I attached a piece of wood to the wall to support the bottom shelf and then put the shelf into place. The only real difference is I added the dividers between the cubbies and then used my nail gun to attach the shelf to each divider to help keep them in place. Then I moved my top shelf into place and added a board onto each end wall to act as a shelf support. Now the basic shape is done, time to make it look good. I went ahead and painted the inside of my shelves and especially down in the little shoe cubbies just because it's a lot easier to paint before you add on the facing to the front. So now I'm ready to add these one by two boards to the fronts of all of my shelves. It just makes it look a lot nicer and more substantial and it doesn't cost very much. These boards are only a few dollars. I'm using pine, I've used poplar before, either one works great. Just make sure you find really straight boards. Adding this thicker trim is super easy to do and it makes such a huge difference. When you're attaching the trim along the horizontal shelves, just make sure that you align the top of the trim with the shelf board so that it's not blocking any of the shelf. And for the little shoe cubbies, I found it better to use one by one boards instead of one by twos. All the wood facing is on now and it makes such a difference in how nice and substantial and thick and really just expensive these really simple wood shelves look. 
I have caulked and used wood filler and now I'm going to finish up the painting. I'm painting my shelves with my favorite combo of a small foam paint roller and a pretty angle paintbrush. All right, the painting's done. I have hung the two closet bars for the hanging clothes and I'm so excited about how my DIY closet organizer has turned out. And now I cannot wait to put everything in it and get all of our clothes and shoes off of our bedroom floor. And here's our closet all loaded up. If you're wondering, this is not every single thing that was in the closet previously because we did take this chance to clean out a bunch of stuff that probably should have gone a long time ago. But this is most of the things that were there and all of the things that we need. And I'm so happy with how nice and organized everything looks and how easy it is to find what we need. I have more detailed instructions and all of the measurements you need for this project at my website, lovelyetcetera.com, and I will leave a link for that. And if you haven't yet, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel, Lovely Etc., where I share lots of inexpensive DIY projects to create a home that you love on a budget.